ऑल राइट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट सेडिमेंटेशन ऑफ वेस्ट वाटर इन द सब्जेक्ट वेस्ट वाटर इंजीनियरिंग द क्वेश्चन इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस इज सिंग इन प्राइमरी सेडिमेंटेशन ऑफ डोमेस्टिक वेस्ट वाटर अबाउट फिल इन द ब्लैंक परसेंट ऑफ सस्पेंडेड सॉलिड्स आर रिमूव ओके द आंसर इज 45 टू 60 परसेंट ऑफ सस्पेंडेड सॉलिड्स आर रिमूव इन पी एस टी दैट इज प्राइमरी सेटलिंग टैंक और प्राइमरी सेडिमेंटेशन ऑफ डोमेस्टिक वेस्ट वाटर एंड अबाउट थर्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ बीओडी फ्रॉम द वेस्ट वाटर इज रिमूव इन द प्राइमरी सेडिमेंटेशन स्टेज ऑफ डोमेस्टिक वेस्ट वाटर ऑल राइट लेट्स टिक द आंसर ऑप्शन सी इज द वन देन सेकेंडरी सेटलिंग टैंक्स कैन रिमूव फ्लॉकुलेटेड सॉलिड्स अप टू रिमेंबर द नंबर नाइंटी okay the secondary settling tank has the efficiency to remove up to 99% of flocculated solids then chemical use in chemical clarification of waste water is is it alum is it lime is it ferric chloride see we can use any of the above mentioned coagulant okay we can use any one which can be alum that has chemical formula as al2so4/3 dot 18 H2O, or we can go with lime as chemical formula CaOH by 2, or we can go with ferric chloride also, which has chemical formula as FeCl3, or we can use ferrous sulfate, which is also called as copper ash that has chemical form as FeSO4 dot 7 H2O, or we can also use ferric sulfate that is Fe2SO4 by 3. Okay. we can use any given coagulant for the chemical clarification then detention time for primary settling tank and secondary settling tank is fill in the blank and fill in the blank respectively the answer is for primary settling tank the detention time is 2 to 2.5 hours okay more time is taken by primary settling tank and less time is taken by secondary settling tank which is 1.5 to 2 hours the answer is option b for pst it is 2 to 2.5 hours and for sst it is 1.5 to 2 hours okay in case in case if industrial waste is there then we can have more detention time the option which is providing as PST has 2 to 2.5 hour and SST has 1.5 to 2 hour. It is the optimized detention time. But in case if we need, if the waste water incoming is industrial is having industrial waste in it, then we can prefer the more detention time in that. All right. Let's go to question number next, which asks us up to fill in the blank percent BOD removal from waste water excess in primary sedimentation. Okay. Remember the answer. 30 to 45 percent. Okay. It is range. on an average 35% gets removed almost 40% gets removed but when we are talking about range the range is 30 to 45% of bod removal takes place depending upon the sewage characteristics okay the range may fluctuate in between 30 to 45 all right then choose the correct statement about primary sedimentation tank secondary sedimentation tank and activated sludge process okay see All the effluent from PST and SST sent to SP. No, effluent from PST sent to SP, and then from ASP to SST. No, effluent from PST sent to ASP, and then from ASP to SST. From where it is recirculated back to ASP. Okay, this seems legitimate option. Okay, let's just temporarily take. Effluent from both PST and SST are sent to ASP. No, Let's see, this is how transfer from PST. from pst to asp then asp to sst and then recirculation is having this format see this is pst okay for example this is the primary sedimentation tank then we are having this asp activated sludge process unit then we are having this sst means secondary settling tank from pst the effluent goes to asp then from asp the effluent goes to secondary settling tank then if we get the desired amount of treatment then we will send it to effluent we will send a waste water okay waste water will be sent for the next treatment and some amount gets recirculated to asp okay for the recirculation for the recycle of the wastage and from asp we get rid of sludge okay sludge is then removed from 
ASP. Okay, the flow is from PST to ASP, from ASP to SST. Some part will be recirculated. Sludge will be get rid from ASP. Okay, and we will be removing waste water continuously from SST. Option C depicts the correct scenario of the flow chart that takes place in between PST, ASP, and SST. Okay. Then. in multi stage biological treatment intermediate settling tanks are used between see whenever we have to use multiple settling tanks then we will compulsorily install them in between pst and sst that is primary settling tank and secondary settling tank okay this may be intermediate settling tanks that we might need in case the waste water is strong or in case we need more efficiency of treatment okay therefore the answer is option d pst and sst in between pst and sst then a septic tank is what a septic tank is it is a sedimentation tank as well as a digestion tank therefore option a and b is the one c septic tank is nothing but a form of primary sedimentation tank with longer detention time and the settled sludge anaerobic treatment takes place at the bottom which form the septicity or the septic condition at the bottom that's why we call a septic tank as both sedimentation as well as digestion tank okay with this this was the end of topic for the sedimentation of waste water if you like the video please press thumbs up if you like the video too much then do subscribe the channel and for more such videos in hindi do subscribe civil engineering in hindi and for the pdf of the questions of what we discuss in the video do go to telegram channel find simplified learning go to files and there you will find the pdf and also if you are on instagram do look for simplified learning civil and follow for the purest civil engineering beams over there till then take care bye bye